Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the SIM unlocking or network unlocking of a device in order to be used with a different carrier or network other than the one that originally sold it. By default, most mobile devices these days are going to come with some sort of lock that restricts them to only being used with the original wireless carrier that they were sold from, and they have to undergo some sort of unlock process in order to be used with a different carrier or a different network. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. Four that is originally from T-Mobile here in the U.S. So this is the flip style phone that folds up and down like the old flip phones of many years ago. And this is a device that has not yet been SIM unlocked because when we insert a different wireless carrier SIM here, we get this pop-up message down at the bottom saying that the device is not allowed to use the SIM card and to use it, go to unlock your phone in settings. So T-Mobile, like pretty much all other mobile carriers, will do the SIM unlock for you if you meet all of their requirements. And that's where the big catch is, because pretty much all wireless carriers have a big list of requirements that have to be met in order for them to do the SIM unlock for you as the customer. So basically, you have to be the original owner of the phone, the, you know, the one who originally purchased it from the carrier as the person making the request. You have to have the receipt or the documentation proving so. You have to have it fully paid paid off and out of contract, you can't owe the carrier any bills, you have to be you know, caught up on your account, has to be in good standing, you have to have used the device with them for a certain period of days, weeks, or months, or whatever the case may be, and the list goes on and on and on. So there's all these requirements that have to be met. And over the years, we've been contacted by tons of customers asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves wanted to change carriers away from T-Mobile before satisfying all of T-Mobile's requirements for them to do the SIM unlock for them, or because they purchased the device used from a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the device was still network locked. In those cases, the seller usually either claims that the device is already unlocked or that it's already eligible to be unlocked through T-Mobile and all they have to do is contact the carrier to get it done or whatever the case may be. But then after the purchase, the buyer discovers that it's not true, that the device is actually still locked and that it's not eligible to be unlocked through the carrier and therefore they're usually stuck with a completely unusable device since the seller has usually long since disappeared in those cases as it's a very common scam that happens all the time these days in the buying and selling of used mobile devices. But we're here making this video today to show any interested customers that we do offer a service to be able to get the device network unlocked without having to go directly through T-Mobile and meet all of their requirements in order for them to do so. Our unlock procedure is something that we do directly to the device while it's plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection, and we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet to perform the exact same procedure that we're doing right here with this one. So actually, as I've been speaking, I've been running our unlock program here on the device that goes ahead and takes care of that for us. It's still locked at the moment, as you can see here from that message that still shows up on the screen. It needs just another minute or two to finish up running what it's doing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward the rest of this video to the end, just so we can keep it as short as possible so that you can see the final result as proof that we can indeed do the SIM unlock. So just hold on here while I skip through the rest of these. All right, we should be all set to go here. The tool has now finished doing its work and it's rebooted. So as you can see, it just restarted here. We're gonna go ahead and swipe away the lock screen. 
And then we'll notice down at the bottom, actually I can just go ahead and unplug this. It's no longer giving us that network locked message that it was before. So that is a very good indication that the device has been successfully unlocked. I'm gonna go ahead and pop over into connections and then, oh, there we go. That is the pop-up that I was looking for. So now the phone is telling us that there's a new mobile network available and to restart to connect to that network. So we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so it's now rebooted from doing that step. Again, I'm gonna swipe open the lock screen here and then what I was going to go into before under the settings is under connections. And then if I go under mobile networks and then access point names, we can see here that it's loading a preloaded uh, access point name from Xfinity Mobile. And that is the carrier of the SIM card that we have inserted here. Now this SIM card is not actually activated with a phone number and a plan, so it's not actually gonna show signal bars and everything else, but the fact that the phone is no longer showing the network lock message, that it gave that pop-up at the bottom to connect to a new network, and then this new access point name that we're seeing here, those are all your visual indications that the device is successfully now network unlocked and can be used with any other compatible wireless carriers. So if you have one of these Z Flip 4s originally from T-Mobile and need help getting it SIM unlocked, we would love to help you out with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description. And we'll also put a slide at the end of the video that has all of our details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have here on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for thousands of models of devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will enable you to be notified of all of the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like we're doing here with this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes también nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.